What's good, team exclusive, and welcome back to another episode of The Draft to a Glory, of course. Uh, it is finally back with a new episode. I do want to start by apologising for not uploading uh, the series in... I don't know if it's been two weeks, but it's definitely been over a week. Um, it's, been a, it's been a little while, so I do apologise. Um, I really enjoyed doing it, it's just, you know, life kind of got got hold of me and, and time was very uh, was very short, so this... Um, this series unfortunately took a, took a step on the back burner, but it is back. And of course, if you don't know this series, um, basically our drafts are all decided by, I'm not sure which side it is, this wheel that we've got next to us. And as you can see rolling around it, we've got the likes of um, like Joker draft, we've got uh, slowest draft, we've got out of position, highest rated draft, auto fill, all of them are fairly self-explanatory. If we get any of the um, team of the group stage, that will be included in the Europa League, Champions League draft, if we land on that, of course. Um, yeah, most of them are pretty self-explanatory. Of course, you've got the likes of, uh, well, um, out of position. Basically, that happened, I think, in the last draft. We just have to choose one player and then play them out of position. So, like, Ramos at right back. Bit of a cheat, but it worked. And it was actually quite good, to be fair. It wasn't terrible. It was a bit slow, but it was, uh, it was actually right. So... Yeah, I guess without further ado, let's give this uh, let's give this wheel a spin. See what we're going to land on today. Come on, please don't screw us. It's not ideal, but it's not bad. It's not bad either. To be fair, we get the strongest draft, of course, rep represented by uh, big man rule breaker Akina Fenwar. Um, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. That's going to be interesting. So we have to choose the player with the highest physical stat. I'm not going to go into every player and look at their actual strength rating. It's going to take too long. So, um, so let's jump back up to the game. Yeah, so we're just going to choose players who have the highest physical stat uh, on their face card. So we'll see how this goes. This could, this could be good. This could be really bad. Of course, we do have our free foot draft entry uh, from the last or one of the previous drafts that, that gashed up. And was just uh, awful. So these are our options. We've got the 442 holding with the CDMs. Five at the back, not really keen on that. 443, four, uh, four, three, three, sorry. Defend 4312 or 4141. Um jeez, oh, what's gonna be so that's quite good. 4141. One. I'm gonna take the 433 defend. I feel like we don't usually do that. So, first option, we've got 63 Dybala, 68, 57, 67, 67, oh my god, okay. Who actually would have the highest strength anyway? It would be, uh, it would be Il Ilicic, not sure if I'm saying that right, but he's our first option, that is not good. I mean, it's a Serie A start, which isn't terrible. Who do we have to take? So, we get uh, Payet Griezmann. We go Oyazabal, Mane, and Sterling, and then it's going to have to be. Oh no, it's actually going to have to be Mane. It's going to be Mane. This could be. This could be bad. This could be really bad. We get Salah. Uh, seventy-six. We get Hames. We get uh, Di Maria. There's going to be uh, the road to the final. Mohamed Salah, very nice looking card. Now we've got kind of a Premier League theme going on, so I'm hoping we can keep that going we get um 78 uh 82 so it's gonna be marcus lorente not a bad pick but we don't need more leagues we really don't need more leagues being added in it's not even gonna be matic matic is i'd have thought he'd have bossed it but he's been beaten by samaseku samaseku i don't know i apologize uh bundesliga and then matawidi so 72, 73, so it's going to be Matawidi. Nice. This is, uh, this is fantastic. This is fantastic. So we get 86 within in Zonzi. 74 with Torreya. Get uh, 80 with uh, Rodri. 79 Strutman and Darun with 80. So it's going to be in Zonzi. Just making sure, yep. Uh, I mean, it does link, but it's not really the links we want. It's not really the links we want to get Alex Tellers. We get to uh, our, our Billa. 
Arbilla. Who would have the highest strength? It would be... It would be Arbilla anyway. Okay, so... Ah, uh, jeez. Jesus Christ. I mean, he links to Lorente, so I suppose that's good. Um, we got 78. 70, 80 with Rudiger, Apara. 79. Okay. It's going to have to be um, Rudiger. Nice. Back on the Prem theme. Can we get another Prem? Ooh, Desai. Coming in big at the end. That clutch. That clutch pick, would he have the highest strength rating anyway? Just curious. He would. Almost beaten by Matt Hummels. But there we are. We got our first icon in the team. Very nice for some chemistry. Very nice for some chemistry, which is very well needed, I think, in this draft. Um, can we get some more Premier League, please? Get 84 with Tavenier. It's not ideal. Where does he even play? He plays in the... Scottish Premier League. Oh my god. It's going to have to be Tavenier, I guess. Switch those around. So we get a little bit more chemistry. I'm going to be honest, it's not ideal. Um, this is not ideal. What do I do about goalkeepers? I guess I just choose... Uh, um, I, I, didn't, I don't know what to do about goalkeepers. Uh, okay, I'm just going to choose Gaeta because they don't have strength rating. So, let's just get the goalkeepers out of the way because I'm not sure what to do with them. Uh, we'll just pick him highest rated. No one really cares. Okay. So, send back. Brilliant. It's not even It's not even anything I can really use. I mean, he actually might be quite good. He does have a higher strength rating anyway, so we'll take him and then play him over Rudiger. Does that help chemistry? Does... Hmm doesn't actually no it doesn't so he is gonna have to stay on the bench probably on the reserves pick number three get um alexandro but hinteregger is looking like it's going to be our option it is 83 does he help he doesn't we haven't got any bundesliga really mm, this draft is a mess <laughs> this draft is a big 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 mess um uh, okay, we really need some Premier League players or French players, which we get none of those. It's pretty irrelevant, but he's got 81. Good physical rating. Probably one of the highest we've actually got in the team, to be fair. This one's going to give us DePaul. It's got Stindl. Uh, Tyson Iniesta, but it's going to have to be Stindl. Um, yeah, okay. Not uh, not the most ideal pick in the world. Carlos Fair, Messi. Oh, wow. Okay. There's some choices, and there's some choices we don't get to pick either because Gareth Bale, Real Madrid version, coming in at 73 physicals. Obviously, Neymar was never gonna was never gonna clutch it. Messi is weak as Fook, and then Carlos Fair, but then ugh, Baggio would have helped us so much. Doesn't matter. We're gonna have to choose Gareth Bale. It's the way the it's the way the wheel spun, and we can't break the rules. Cannot break the rules. So Davidson, cool. This is a shambles. This is a shambles. We get Messi back again. Looks like it's gonna have to be Luis Suarez. Just just checking he was. Yeah, he has got eighty four. So that's actually not a bad shout. And then we can stick big boy Gareth Bale, and we get a little bit more chemistry. Is starting to resemble somewhat of a half decent team. Just wonder if we get a little bit more chemistry by doing. We don't know. Okay, right. So now we're kind of hoping we get some really strong La Liga players. Um, well, that's a no. I mean, we get Modric, 66. 71, 71, 73 by Sergio Roberto. It just, it's just not the one. It really isn't the one. Um, I'd probably rather play to Venier, if I'm honest. But I just wonder if anybody's going to help us with some chemistry. It's kind of the best it's going to get for the moment. We'll, we'll sort out the team in a minute. We're not really concrete on anything just yet, but it's a it's pretty big shambles, regardless. 
This one doesn't matter, does it? We get uh, Westwood for the sake of it. He's got 70 and he's got 74, so we'll take him. Second to last pick, come on, please. It's not going to fall in our favour at all. And we just get shot out. He would have been perfect. Valverde would have been perfect. 81 or with 82 physical. But he comes in with 82 and 83 on his face card. Well, it's tough out here. It's really tough. It's real tough. But, I mean, he helps chemistry a little bit. Um, it's just not what you want to see. It really isn't what you want to see. God, this is so bad. This is so bad. This is so bad. Last pick. Payet. Jesus. Okay. We get uh, Verbic, who looks like he's going to take it. He is. What's his physicals? 72. Do you wonder what everyone else has got? 71. So, yeah. Wouldn't have mattered regardless. But, wow. I mean, that's how the team looks. Um... I, I don't know if there's any way of actually improving this. Obviously, we could put in to Venier back in. Get that. Um, switch those around. Just to get those positions in the proper place. But, like, ultimately, this guy's actually quicker than the left back we would have had in. So, it's probably better just to stick him in. And, uh, and have Sergio Roberto back in, even though he is a little bit slow. And probably a little bit worse than Tavenier, but it's the way it goes. It's the way it is. 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 Uh, Stindle for yeah, him. Cool. Okay. So what are we looking at? So everybody is on seven or well six for Nzonzi. You got four for Mane, which it shows him as three. Obviously, team chemistry here is eighty-six. Oh, this is such, such a bad, <laughs> this is bad. This is real bad. Um, yeah, there's not a whole lot I can do. So, yeah, this uh, this theme draft wasn't the greatest, but, you know, it's the way it goes. It's the way it goes. We do it for fun. We don't do it for necessarily winning the draft. It's all about the content and the fun. Um, don't actually need League of Santa Teresa. So Mikel Arteta could actually be a good shout. If only, if only we got a French Premier League... Uh, player uh manager but we'll take arsenal manager Mikel arteta Mikel shot the bed teta uh but yeah overall actually it's not it's not a terrible draft when you look at it obviously the players we we, we got could have been better we could have chosen a lot better players but we had to choose the strongest and Mane does get a bit of a boost he has a hunter on him as well so that's very very nice Gets a bit of a boost in shooting and pace. Not that he needs it really, but that would be okay. Uh, he's doing all right. And then obviously the rest of the team is on adequate chemistry. This one I'm not happy about at all. 34 pace. You probably have about 37 with the shadow, but that's not good. And that, uh, yeah, our left back is not ideal at all. I feel like we're, we're going to get abused on the, on the wings quite a lot. And just those two of um, whatever his name is. And Sergio Roberto is just going to completely shit the bed. So it's going to be bad. But I uh, might have to just bring on... I might just have to bring on some people to, to cover those positions. I don't know. We'll see how things go. But that's how that's how the cookie has crumbled today for us. Um, that is our strongest rated draft we could have picked. We picked everybody with the highest physical rated uh, rating on their card. Um, and I think everybody we chose actually had the highest strength rating anyway. So whichever way you, whichever way you twist it, it would have uh, equaled out to be this team regardless. And I think for what we've ended up as, it's not bad. It's not bad. So let's jump into the first game, see how badly things go. Uh, I'm not hoping for good things at all. Not at all. I do have to say I really like that uh, blue Juventus kit. I think it's Juventus. Very, very nice stuff. But uh, first opponent today... It's going to have a team or a draft that looks like something like this. There we go. That definitely took its time. But two icons. Got Shevchenko and Zanetti. 
It's got Alexandra in goal. Alexandra in goal. And it's got the, the new Bruno. So very nice stuff. I feel like he's just going to quit, isn't he? Or not? No. I wonder if he's actually going to sub out Alexandro. Edison? He does have a goalkeeper, yeah. So I feel like he's just going to sub Edison in for uh, Alexandro. See, it, I would have respected that. And I, I, he would have had massive balls to play the game with Alexandro in goal. Of course, he's not going to get a chance to put his goalkeeper in straight away. So... Yo, this is crazy. That's not good. Fred is in. Fred has scored. This is uh, it's... yeah. There's not a, not an ideal start. What is that? Why have you just? Oh my god. And Sterling is going to be in, and he chips my goalkeeper from there. Are you serious? Oh my god. Three fucking shots, and they've all just gone straight in the back of the net. This is actually horrible. Fucking do something in Zanzi. He just stood there absolutely doing nothing. And that's four. Four shots, four goals. We've just com been completely ruined already. Money. Please. Fail. Oh my god, thank god, I've actually scored. This guy is an absolute dick, by the way. I, I know he's winning 4-1 already, but he's a complete asshole. Passing it round the back. Like, what are you doing? Like, you're 4-1 up, who cares? It's, it's so fucking shit, man. The, the way people play this game is so infuriating. It's actually unreal. Like, I, no wonder this whole community is so fucking toxic. It's actually ridiculous when people just do this. Ridiculous, man. I see Mane at the back. Come on, Mane! Let's go! 4-2, back in the game. Back in the game. I refuse to to lay down and quit to this fucking asshole. And he's quit. Oh, my God. He's probably going to award him the win, actually, for that. I can't believe it. This guy didn't want to play the game at all. He didn't want to play. He just wanted to. He wanted me to quit, but that was... Oh. Okay, all right. Fair enough, fair enough. It didn't, uh, it didn't, seemingly, it didn't award anybody the win. I, I don't know, unless it gave me the win, which is really odd, but I think, uh, I think that game was just none in void, but that was so, so strange. Strange people out there, I swear. Strange people. <sighs> All right, so second opponent today, technically the first, but uh, second opponent, he has got Shevchenko again. He's got uh, road to the final, Marcus Rashford, who is looking to be in the, uh, um, Europa League now <laughs> not great but uh, you know it is what it is at least uh, you know coming from an Arsenal fan at least Man U got to the Champions League unlike Arsenal who just started in the Europa League because with that fucking gash <laughs> it really uh, goes to show a lot doesn't it but okay that was really stupid I don't know why I tried the shot with Matuidi but oh switch me oh my god Goalkeeper. Good job. Great job by the defender. Let's go. Yeah, no chance. No chance. Played that so well. Could have been a really good option uh, opportunity for this guy, but uh, sadly, no doing. No. He's trying to abuse that Marcus Rashford, and he's got it as well. Fuck. Yeah, Suarez. Damn. Okay, right. We're going to take, um, take Nzonzi off. And for Mo Salah. And Tavenier back on for Sergio Roberto. We literally don't have any um, any half-decent subs as well. So, late in the game, that could be a bit of a struggle and a bit of a problem. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, yeah, let's go, Suarez. Your penalty, let's go. Big ups. Big ups. Completely reckless. No idea what he's doing. This guy is, uh, is questionable at best. There we let's go. Suarez puts it in the back of the net. Let's go. 1-1. One, one. I thought it was 1-0 to me, but uh, I can't read. No way is he just letting him run past him. <laughs> He's missed again. What is he doing? 
Jesus Christ, this guy is just abusing the pace, but not taking any of his chances. He could be like 3-4 up by now. Taking it. You've got him panicking already. Gareth Bale! Fuck! We need to be starting putting these in the back of the net because we're not going to have many of these chances left. Um, completely rinse then. Great challenge. Unreal, man. He's not even controlling his fucking players. Fuck. Great challenge again. Oh my god, and he calls it there as well. Holy Jesus. All right. Well, so far it's it's been quite a good first half, but we uh, we we definitely should be in the lead. I mean, not to say this guy shouldn't be as well. Uh, he probably should be. Probably should be quite an even higher scoring game, but. He's missed a lot of his chances, and we've just we just haven't put ours away as well. So it's one of the it's one of those games, really is. I see, sir. Come on, Suarez. Yes, it's gone in. Let's go. I feel like that was an own goal. I don't even I don't even know what happened to be fair, but it's fully deserved. Gareth Bale should have scored that first chance, but uh, Luis Suarez picks it out. To make it two. I want to see what happened, to be fair. If it can show us the replay. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, supposedly it's gone down as... Uh, oh, shit. As uh, Luis Suarez goal. Oof, that was dangerous. That could easily have been a pen. Suarez from the edge of the box. Let's go! 3-1. Luis Suarez. What a good goal. Yeah, this guy's defending is completely wacky. He just tracks back to the CDM and then just does absolutely nothing with it whatsoever. Like, he doesn't even try and tackle with his centre-backs. I mean, admittedly, I don't have much of a CDM to actually uh, track back with, so I'd love to do that. But <laughs> I have... Um, Luis Suarez, which is great. Please win that header. Oh my god. We got very lucky again. Very, very lucky. I did point it at Salah, but it didn't want to uh, kick the ball to him. Mane. Let's go. Mane with the pace. See, look at this. Look who he's defending with. Crazy. And Salah. Oh, come on, keep that. No, I just played into his hands again. Come on, somebody get in the box. Bail! Let's go! Makes it 4-1. This guy is out of here. Oh, no, keep it, keep it. Oh, that was sad. Wait, give it back to him. No, damn. Oh, I was trying. I was trying it, but couldn't quite uh, couldn't quite get far enough. But uh, there we are. So first game ends 4-1, fully deserved. I mean, this guy was was completely, completely brain dead. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure how. Again, it was one of those where we've got a really slow team and it's like all our fullbacks are really slow. Midfield is really slow. Besides our front three, who are on basically no chemistry um the team is actually very slow and we were just getting abused by all of that pace um but we managed to score three goals with Luis Suarez one with Gareth Bale some absolute bangers to be fair um yeah and there we are we just came back from from uh, what looked like a really bad result so there we are first game done cool all right so second round opponent here we go 
second round opponent is going to look something like this. Very low chemistry team. Again, doesn't mean a whole lot. It's got Sanson, Road to the Final, Griezmann. It's got a very slow back, back line with uh, Idavar. Idav, Idav, I can't even remember his name. Oh, Lee. Spurs, centre back, Belgium, that one. Oh my, oh my god. Oh, EA, please, EA, you're killing me. Actually, actually going to die because of this game. I don't, I, please don't. Oh my god, this game. What the fuck is that? Well, fuck it. I don't know. Just so pissed off. Look at this shit. Look at this fucking shit. Unreal. So the game disconnects, right? Again, we're not going to speculate whether or not it was something fishy going on with or dodgy going on with that guy. Could well have been. Who knows? Who cares? But the game disconnects. And because of that, we get the loss. So. <laughs> it's another sad day of being or playing the draft. You'd love to see it. You'd love to see it. They need they need to change the system in some way. Something needs to change because you disconnect from a game and you get the loss. But they say, oh, your match is under review. What are they, what are they reviewing? What are they going to do? They don't do anything about it. So... It's irrelevant. Oh, it's irrelevant. I don't want to rant about it because it's just pointless. I'm sure we all experience it and it's all just as frustrating. So it, uh, it's just one of those things, unfortunately. It's just one of those things. I'll uh, keep hold of those. Silvers are quite good to have in the club anyway, I, I suppose. And they might be slightly expensive. Marquee matchups times. So it might be worth selling uh, around Wednesday time if any of them do sell. But um, yeah, we also get Akin. Five, Akin Thieve? Akin Thieve. Uh, Diego Rico, does he sell? He might go for a few hundred coins. I, I can't see us making anywhere near the... Well, we didn't actually spend anything, to be fair. So, so I suppose that's all right. I mean, it doesn't ultimately matter. But it would have been nice to get somewhat, you know, semi-decently far into the draft and get somewhat decent rewards to have a chance at packing something good. But... Uh, do you get only a rare player? It's going to be Clinton Matter. Ironically, actually a very good looking centre back. Surprisingly, it's got good defending, good physical, and really good pace for a centre back. So shame he just plays in the Belgium League, I guess, but it is what it is. So I'll sell those. Cool. Well, there we are. That is a. Uh, the draft what do we have in the store of course we've got more of those terrible shitty packs but anyway there we are so i i can only apologize i hate ending it on such a, a sour salty note but this game really is very frustrating like really frustrating if it isn't the games that we play like the first game we played before he quit like you know he's four nil up and he's just passing it around the back like a complete asshole and then we just took the ball off him four times and just well three times actually and then just scored, and then he quit, and then the game was just null and void, and then we had to do it again, and then when we got to the second round, the game just shat the bed with the connection, and then we, we end up getting the loss for it, I don't, I don't know what's going on, like, it wasn't anything on our end, my internet, because we got taken straight back into Ultimate Team, if it was on my end, I would have been booted out of the game, so, who's to blame? The, the EA, EA servers, probably, most likely. It's always the EA servers. They always just shit the bed at the most inappropriate times, but uh, it is what it is. So, again, I do apologise on having it be such a salty end to the, to, the, to the video, but it's one of those. We'll come back in the next episode and we'll do it again and hopefully do better, I guess, or if the servers let us. But either way, if you have enjoyed this video, please do drop it a like. That'd be very, very much appreciated. If you want to see more of this content or any more of this Draft of Glory series, do consider hitting that subscribe button and become part of the exclusive family. Um, but with that said, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time.